Have you ever wondered how those fancy watermarks on YouTube are even made? Well, by the end of this video, I'll share with you step-by-step -step exactly how to make it happen. My name is Rakeem Madison. Let's get into the content. All right, so with every YouTube video, you have the ability to add a subscribe button within the video itself, right? So if you look right here, you can see that there's a subscribe just on the watch page itself. But if you actually come right here, you see how I got this subscribe button right here inside of the video. And that's powerful as well, because now you got two opportunities for them to actually subscribe. All right, so when I mouse over this, you can see it pops up to subscribe, and then a person can actually hit the subscribe button right there while they're watching the video, right? Which is pretty cool. Now, now, I'm gonna show you how to actually make one of those so you don't have to worry about uh, copyright issues. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how to add it to the video so then you can increase the amount of subscribers that you're getting, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go to a tool called Snapper. So Snapper is like a graphic designing tool. You can do a whole bunch of different things. So as you can see here, we got social media posts. Uh, we have YouTube thumbnails, Twitter posts uh blog feature images it's a bunch of templates in here but i'm gonna show you exactly how to go ahead and knock out your watermark all right all right so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll all the way back up here now right here where it says custom graphic size the size for your watermark is 150 by 150 so we're gonna go ahead and type 150 in here I'm gonna type 150 right here, and then I'm gonna hit create. Now at this point, it's gonna create exactly what we need, just like how you saw in my video. And then now we got our square right here, right? Now the first thing we wanna do is we wanna add a background color. Now you can add any color that you want, but I only recommend adding colors that actually stand out. And since I want it to be a subscribe button, then I'm just gonna make it red, right? And as you can see, YouTube now has a black subscribe button, so it's really up to you on what color you wanna go with. So I'm just gonna keep it simple and go with a background background of red so I'm gonna click here click on color right here and then I'm gonna go to the color wheel and I'm gonna click on this red right here and then I'm gonna go to custom so I can make that red super bright all right so there we go right there all right so now we got a red background now the next step is we want to go ahead and add some text so I'm gonna click on text and by the way you got effects and you got graphics and shapes that you can add as well just so you can kind of see you know what it is that you want to do with it so i'm gonna go back to text i'm gonna hit add a heading now as obviously you can see that this is pretty big so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring this down to about uh let's go with 23. all right so we got 23 and then i'm gonna go to the one i like which is uh alpha slab one so right here so i'm gonna click on that and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change this to the word subscribe right so i'm gonna go ahead and type subscribe all right, so we got the subscribe, and I might end up making that a little bit bigger. Let me go to at least, i say about 20, I, th I think that works, 27 works, right? Uh, that might look a little too big, but it's all right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this white. Let's go ahead and change the color of that. Okay, so you see we, we already got some working already, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on graphics, and then I'm going to make sure it's on icons. Now, you can add different vectors. You can uh, go to different photos. And then you can also upload your own image in here, right? You can make yours custom, you know, and it can look a lot different than all of the other creators who are within your space, okay? All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit icons. And then I'm going to type YouTube, okay? That's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to hit enter. And then you can see we got all these different YouTube play buttons. We even got the uh, creator studio one. It just depends on what you want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this particular YouTube button right here. Boom. There it is. And you can adjust the size of all of this. So I'm going to make this pretty big. And you can see it's already starting to look exactly like the one that I got. Right. So obviously you don't have to make yours look like mine. Um, I just kind of like how that is. It's very simple. It didn't take me any time at all. So boom, we got the subscribe button and it stands out. Now you can move it around. You can say, no, nah, I want the text on the bottom and I want the YouTube logo on the top. Or you can completely make yours look like super different, right? It really doesn't matter. Now, the important part um, that you need to know about uh, Snapper in general is that they give you three downloads a month okay now if you do want to go on the paid plan um, I highly recommend it because if you're doing any other things on the internet this allows you to do a lot of uh, graphic design type of things okay all right so now from here how do you actually download this so what I would do is I would come over here to where it says download and then you can go with either one of these but the one that I highly recommend is the retina PNG two times the size okay and don't make it transparent and I'm gonna tell you why when you have a transparent it doesn't necessarily stay out 
as much. So when I first did this a very, very long time ago, I put a transparent one and it didn't really stand out because it didn't really have that background behind what it is that I wanted the focus to be on. And so now that I have like, you know, the one that I have now, it really pops in that bottom right corner of your video. And one thing to know as well is that on mobile, if a person is watching like in the vertical form where the video is smaller, they're not going to see it. Right. But the moment that they flip their phone to the right, to the horizontal view, then they'll see, you know, your particular subscribe button, whichever one you have, and then it'll stand out. So I just want to go ahead and let you know, you know, a little bit more about like the views because you might see it on your phone. You're like, man, where's my thing? As soon as they turn their phone, they're going to be good to go. And then from here, all we're going to do is hit retina PNG size. It's going to start downloading your image. Now all you got to do is save it to your computer. And then now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how to add it on your channel. So first thing you want to do is you want to come over here to the left side tab and right here where it says customization, you want to go ahead and click on that. All right. So once this screen right here pops up, what you want to do is you want to click right here to where it says Brandon. And then right here, you have a couple different options, but the one we want to focus on is right here where it says video watermark. All right. So now you can see they, they give you the different display times. So you can do it at the end of your video, which I don't really like that one. Right. I don't really need to put it at the end of the video, but it really just, you know, depends on what you want to do. Um, you got a custom start time so you can start it right after your hook if that's something you want to do. Or you can just have it for the entire video like I do on pretty much every YouTube video or every YouTube channel that I have is I just have it throughout the entire video. So at any point they want to subscribe and they mouse over it, then they're going to be good to go. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit change. Once it pops up, then all you're going to do is you're just going to click on the one that you, you created inside of Snap and you download it. And then all you're going to do is just hit boom, just like that. And then they're going to show you this right here. Let me move me out of the way real quick so I can hit done. All right. So I hit done. And then at that point, just make sure your display time is good. And then you go ahead and hit publish up here. And then now once it's done, once that finished loading up at the top, then you'll be able to go to your videos to verify that your, your YouTube subscribe watermark is actually there. Hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, definitely go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to get access to Snapper, go ahead and use that first link down below in the description. That'll give you instant access and up to three free downloads per month. And if you decide to upgrade to the paid plan, then I highly recommend it. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.